that we run is a trap. And I, I mentioned earlier at West Lauderdale, we probably run the trap as much as any team in the state of Mississippi. We just believe in it. And the reason we're able to do that is because we run the speed sweep so much. We run outside so much, we get a lot of fast flow. So we try to hit back inside. And for us, uh, the trap just makes perfect sense. It's a misdirection inside running play designed to explore the defensive tackle pursuing upfield. Uh, gives us leverage, angle blocking, utilizes a surprise element, great misdirection off the jet, forces the defense to stay at home, be disciplined, and, uh, you, you know, anytime we're getting an even front and a three-tech, we're fixing to trap him all night long if we get an opportunity. Some of the things, uh, what we're trying to get, we're telling our tight end, if the play ends in zero, get an inside release and work to second and third level. And I'll show you that once we move to the next screen. Our play side tackle is going to release underneath the defensive tackle and, and seal inside onside linebacker. We ask him who he has, and our guys automatically tell us inside onside. Play side guard against an odd front. He's going to down block and double with the nose. We tell our guys it is not a combo. It is a double team. We want to make sure we move the nose. If we don't get movement, we don't have a play. Uh, but we want to move the nose, and if we're successful, we're going to double the nose into the backside linebacker. So we're not so concerned with coming off and comboing that thing. We want to double that nose back into him and let our fullback make the read at that point. Our center, again, double team with the nose, uh, play side guard. And this is the key block, because if the nose guards move, we're going to gain something. We're going to gain something. And if we can move him into the linebacker, then we've got a really good play. Backside guard, pull and trap, first down, defender, pass center. First step should be flat to clear center, and we're tending to work through the hips uh, where the center leads from. Backside tackle, uh, shoot a hand and release under the defensive tackle and block the linebacker on his side. Against an even front, tied in, again, zero block, flat step down, work second and third level. Play side tackle, his responsibilities doesn't change, release block inside, onside. Play side guard, he tracks down. If there's no double team, then he will continue his track to the backside backer at that point. Center's going to feel back for the guard that pulls if there's nobody head up. Play side guard, a backside guard, excuse me, again, pulls and traps first down line and pass center. And he's got to be prepared for contact and they got really, really quick. If we get a squeeze with the, with the, with the uh, three tech, he's got to be able to, to know where he's at and uh, get some movement there. Backside tackle, shoot a hand, release under the defensive tackle, and block the linebacker. And the fullback's path is it's midline. We don't, uh, we don't teach him anywhere but midline. Everything we do, we want to get a midline run. So get your eyes up, check the crease after breaking the line of scrimmage. Against an even front, this is what we would uh, look at here, guys against an even front. We tell our tight end, number one, flat step. We don't want nobody crossing their face. We flat step down. Zero, go second, go third level. Wherever the play takes us, we're going second and third level. We tell our tackle, get inside the defensive tackle, block inside, onside. That's him there. We've got the double team, and I know it shows this guy coming off, but we're going to engage that double team, and we actually want to take that nose and move him back into that backside backer. Pull and trap first, first lineman passed. Now, what we're trying to do when we come through is we're trying to stay on the inside plane. We teach our kids to stay inside level one and make the kick because what we're starting to see a lot of now is these guys want to squeeze down hard off the butt of that tackle. And if we don't stay inside lane one, he's going to slide underneath and meet our fullback in the hole. So we want to make sure we stay inside, inside lane one and get the kick there. Now, if he sees this and this gentleman has run his tail up field, Go ahead and wrap. He just took himself out of the play and help where help is needed. We're going to shoot a hand and try to seal backside backer if we can get there. Now, this uh, wing back here, we're just simply going to release downfield. First thing it shows. Very seldom we're going to block that in, but that corner a lot of times will squeeze. We can cut him off. So we've got two guys working downfield to cut off a corner and a safety defender there. Again, the ball will be snapped inside foot since he's not getting the football and our, and our fullback runs midline. And you'll see the quarterback, once the handoff's made, he's going to take a waggle track. But that's, uh, this, is, this is a base-base play for us. We run this uh, uh, you know, outside the jet. We're going to run the trap probably more than anything else we run. We're going to look at it here against an even front shortly right here. And this is black. We're running this without a tight end. Our black formation is double. Is, uh, is, is two guys split without the tight end here. 
And this would be 320. Three is the left, 20 is our fullback series in the zero hole. Uh, and what we see here is our center is going to fill for the backside guard. Our play side guard, there's no double team involved, so he's going to step, protect gap, nobody shows. Then he's actually going to, um, at that point in time, he's going to work it to uh, backside backer. There's the gentleman we're going to trap. Now, what we're telling here is this. If we get this front, these guys are going to make a, uh, a call here. He's going to let the tackle know he's got Mike. If there was two backers in the hole, if we were looking at two guys sitting in the hole in a split look, if we had two guys in a split, look, there's a backer and there was a backer, and they didn't have that mic sitting in the middle, his track would take him to backside, and this play side tackle's track would take him to inside onside at that point. But with one backer in the hole, with one mic in the hole, they make the call, guard's got mic, and that, the tackle knows that, and he's going to redirect and go next level first thing that shows, first threat that shows from, from the second level or third level, depending on where we are in the field. Again, our, our halfback on the backside, he's blocking first thread outside to keep them from sliding back down. Everything else is exactly the same, guys. Our backside tackle, nobody crosses, gets to second level, and we run the fullback track there. Once the fullback takes the football off the heels of the center, he's trying to find the first crease that he can find, and he makes a cut from that point. So, uh, that's again, that's been a really, really big play. I guess if I've had a reputation in Mississippi, it is, and I love to run this inside the 10 as well. Uh, you got to be careful. West Lauderdale will run the trap when they get inside the 10-yard line. Our green formation is too tight. Again, we're double wing, but we've got too tight. We're running green against a 5-3. Uh, this would be 320. We do have a nose, so we'll double the nose. We're going to double the nose with our, with our play side guard and our center. So there's our double. Our, our play side tackle knows now he has inside, onside. He's got a release inside the mic. We get a flat step with our tight end. Nobody crosses. He works second level, and there's our pickup there. There's the gentleman that we're going to trap. Fullback reads the crease, and he should make the cut back inside to the left. But we have to get movement here. We get a good seal here, and we should have the crease in this area right there. Now, again, we're asking these guys here, don't let anybody cross your face. Flat step, next level. Flat step, next level. It's a zero block to our tight end. Um, once again, been a great play for us at West Lauderdale.